Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make delicious stuffed bell peppers alright so look if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and let's get started all right guys so look the first thing that we're gonna do is boil some rice i'm using one boil in the bag a uh, pouch just keeping it simple y'all and i'm gonna boil it in some chicken broth for some additional flavor and just follow your instructions on the package okay so go ahead and get your rice going and while that's going we're gonna prep everything else so i'm cooking four bell peppers this could easily make eight if you slice them in half but i'm not slicing them in half today i'm just gonna make four and you want to cut off the tops as evenly as possible all right and you want to peel out all of that rib meat we don't need that y'all take that out <laughs> okay discard that and all the pieces that are left over you can actually chop those up reuse them and put them actually in your um in your meat mixture okay so we're not wasting anything today so go ahead and chop that up get those bell peppers cleaned out and after we get everything out we're gonna rinse them, you know, just, just to get the seeds out. We don't wanna have any seeds, anything, and set all of the rest of your bell peppers to the side. And now we're gonna bake them. So before we bake them, I'm putting them in my cast iron skillet here. I got a nice old cast iron skillet. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of avocado oil. Now I'm using the avocado oil because it can withstand heat. Olive oil can too, but not as high as avocado oil. So um, I'm not worried about these burning when I put them in the oven for an extended period of time. So I'm just gonna rub the uh, avocado oil all over it. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of salt. That salt's gonna help suck some of that moisture out as well as season the pepper, okay? And now we're gonna bake those for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. You know, it depends on your oven. It depends on how high you're cooking it before. About 10 to 15 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Or at least for the amount of time it takes you to finish your uh, your mixture. So look, we're over medium heat. We're gonna start on our filling. You need about a tablespoon of butter, and we're gonna work on sauteing our veggies. So I'm going in with a half cup of bell peppers. Of course, these are the bell peppers that I just had cut up, of course, okay? It's the tops, the heads, all that good stuff. I'm also going in with one onion that I chopped. This is a yellow onion. Go ahead and put that in there. You can put the whole onion in. I promise you it's not too many veggies. We're gonna cook these down. I'm also going in with one stalk of celery that has been diced. If you don't wanna use the celery, you can definitely leave that out, but I wanted to add it in this recipe, so why not, okay? And now we're gonna brown our ground beef. So I'm using about a pound. It's actually just slightly under a pound. It's like 0 0.92, okay? But almost a pound, so a pound of ground beef and about one to two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning on the ground beef as well as uh, peppers and onions. And we're gonna season that up with one teaspoon of onion powder as well as one teaspoon of garlic powder. Y'all already know, come on. If you're new to my channel, those are three seasonings that I'm gonna always use, okay? So look, cook the meat, brown it up. There should be no pink, none whatsoever. Go ahead and mix those veggies into the meat. And look, once you've browned it, that's it for right now, for the meat, okay? So you want to strain that and reduce your heat to about a medium low or low, all right? So I strained my meat. There's just a little bit of oil down in the bottom. That's okay. We're going to add in smoked beef sausage. It has been chopped. This is just a one link of sausage that I chopped up. If you don't want to add the sausage in, you don't have to. But I prefer to add it in, so I'm adding it. I'm also going to add a half cup of petite diced tomatoes. Y'all, the tomatoes definitely give this a little bit of... <laughs> If you don't like tomatoes, you can leave those out too. And look, y'all, there's our rice. It's cooked. All of that rice is going into this mixture. I promise you it's not too much, okay? So go ahead and add that cooked rice in there. It doesn't have to be cold. It doesn't have to be room temperature. If it's hot, you can go ahead and add it in. And we're going to go in with an 8-ounce can of tomato sauce. So I added in the first half here, and then I added in the next half after I mixed it up. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to add all of it. But I actually ended up doing it anyway. So I added in the second half. Usually I always do a half can, but I wanted it to be a little bit more moist. So I added in the whole can, okay? So we're seasoning it up a little bit more. I'm going in with a um, black pepper, just to taste, as well as a tablespoon of hot sauce. And y'all, that's it. That's all. You guys, it is so flavorful. I'm telling you, you can taste that right there, right then. You don't even have to do much else. But look y'all, the peppers are ready. 
You see they're cooked down, they're nice and soft. They could go for another 10 minutes or so. And we're actually just gonna stuff these up, okay? I like to stuff them all the way to the top. As much filling as I can get in there. And I also like to put just a little bit more on top. So my cheese, we're using provolone cheese here. So it sits nice and it makes a really nice appearance, okay? So if you do it flat, it's just gonna kinda droop off the sides. You wanna have just enough where it kinda makes like a little, a little temple, okay? And we're gonna bake this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight to 10 minutes. If it takes less time, that's totally fine. If it takes more, that's fine. And baby, look, <laughs> honey, that is it, honey. Look at that good old stuffed bell pepper, y'all. I'm telling you, the peppers, they cook down so nicely when you bake them ahead of time. You have to bake these long enough, y'all. If you don't bake them long enough in the beginning, you come up with issues. But look, we'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and plate. And there you have it, guys, our delicious stuffed bell peppers you guys super quick super easy super simple y'all making sure that you bake that bell pepper down where it's cooked all the way through is the key and you will enjoy this recipe y'all i promise all right so look i want to thank y'all for watching as always thank you for tuning in to my channel and if you try this recipe out let me know down in the comments and i'll see y'all next time in the next video 